Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello, good evening. Very well, very well. Great, great. Okay, are you ready to choose a number? Yeah, I'm ready. Mm, I would prefer seven. Number seven? Okay. Yeah. All right, so let me find, today I have questions. Here we go. All right, so here is your question. Would you rather be the richest person in the world or the smartest person in the world? Which one? Mm, smartest person in the world. Okay, and why? Because if we are if we are smart, then we can earn money that easily. Uh-huh, okay. And do you think it's possible that if you're the richest person, you can pay smart people to do everything for you? Yeah, but money is not everything. Uh-huh, okay. So you think it's better to be super smart than super rich? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm super smart. Uh-huh. And do you think it's possible for the super smart person to become super rich? Yeah. Is it possible for the super rich person to become super smart? Mm, it is impossible. But yeah, possible because we can do anything with the help of money. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Well... Let's see. How about, can you ask me the same question? Mm, okay. So you tell me if, if you means God and chance, uh, a rich person or a smart person. So what would you like to choose? Uh-huh. Hmm. It's kind of a difficult question because we don't have a lot of information, right? If if uh if you're wealthy you have a lot of money but you're you know you're not stupid then you can probably pay smart people to do the hard work while you you know <laughs> do other things but yeah but also if you're the smartest person in the world then you could probably solve so many problems right and do incredible things that you could probably become rich so yeah yeah, I don't know. If I have to choose, I probably choose probably choose the smartest person. <laughs> I agree. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you for coming Thank live. You. Thank you. All right. Thank Until so next time. Have a great day. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, Hello. I Hello, How? I am in amazement. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think uh, you take me all your uh, live broadcast. Oh, well, here we are. Can I get your, uh, your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Yakup. Yakup, I am from Turkey. Okay. Uh, I am an avid English learner <laughs> for... <laughs> Uh, for three months, uh, and now I am studying English. Uh, okay. As as you see, uh, I <laughs> I am preparing a, a word documents. Uh, mm -hmm. I write all time. Uh, I don't. I didn't know uh, words. I didn't know words. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. my name is my name is Michael. I'm from the United States. Very nice to meet you. And today I'm going to be asking you a question. So I need you to pick a number. Okay. Hmm. Tamam. Okay. I I am choosing now, uh, and I I choose five. Five. Okay. All right. So let me find your question. So, because you chose number five, your question is, would you rather be unable to smell or unable to taste? Um, of course, taste. Um, I can't... Uh, I am bad at smelling. I am bad at smelling. Uh, I love testing a meal, food on exper experience uh, 
taste is also a good skill. Uh-huh. Uh, so I think I think so you think it's better if you have to choose it's better to lose the ability to smell than the ability to taste. Is that right? How lose you lose. asking me lose oh, sorry sorry of oh, yeah <laughs> uh, I choose to lose uh, smell smell taste is taste is necessary for me <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> uh, uh, I I wanna remain uh, my uh, taste uh, abilities uh -huh. right because food is so important right. Uh, every every uh, sense is important, uh, but someone is uh, using uh, more than rather uh -huh. others. Others, and uh -huh. now I don't know uh, how uh, how I speak. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just uh, I'm same words. Uh, I I don't think anything. <laughs> uh, how we how are we going <laughs> fine we're we're having a conversation right and to, today my conversation questions are you have to choose it's difficult to choose but it's picking an option and explaining why you chose the option so if i i would think similar to you if i have to lose the ability i would probably lose the ability to smell and keep the ability to taste but yeah uh, you are really a fun man really fun man i <laughs> uh, i follow you liking <laughs> like <laughs> great like, uh, uh, okay uh, thank you for uh, taking me your uh, live live uh -huh. uh, how how is it pronounced how you say live is it pronounced live 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 uh -huh. yes uh, thanks Thanks again. <laughs> uh, sure. Did you um, do you have any question? To me? Well, I I already asked my question and now I need to move on so other people can come live too. Okay. Okay. Yeah? Thank you. So uh, you're you're welcome to come back live in the future. Okay. I I will be watching you. <laughs> Uh, okay. Have a good day. <laughs> have, a, have a good day. Okay, bye. you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello. Hello, dear teacher. How are you? I'm wonderful. Can I get your name and where you're from? My name is Murat. I am from Turkey. Aha! Uh -huh. Many people have from you... Turkey today. Yes. Have you ever been to Turkey, Michael? No. No, not yet. Maybe someday. Would no? you like coming here? Yes, I think it would be very interesting. I think Turkey has a very interesting history and also a very, very interesting location in the world, right? A lot of history. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so I need you to choose a number, okay? Okay, number, I choose number two. Number two. Number okay. two, yes. All right. So, are you ready for your question? Okay. All right. Let's see. Number two is, would you rather become a millionaire by winning the lottery or by earning it through hard work? Uh, I understand. I don't want to billionaire with a lo lottery. I want to hard working and why because when i am working i i will be very happy money uh -huh. not coming for me happiness i think so okay you understand okay. me yes yes Michael. i understand what you're saying yes? yes and can you can you ask me the same question okay. Uh, how many? I want to ask you uh, one que one question. How many years you are a trainer on English teacher? Oh, 
Well, I meant, can you ask me the same question that I asked you? But I've been teaching okay. English since uh, 2012. Will you, uh, will you rather... Ahead. Uh oh, the connection is going. We'll wait just a little bit longer, see if we can get the connection back. Hmm. Hello. 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 Can you uh, hear me? How are you? Yes, I can, I'm hear you. Well. yes, I can hear you. And can I get your name and where you're from? Well, I'm Mustafa and I am, and I am from, I come from Iraq. Okay. I'm Michael. I'm from the United States. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Okay. Can you pick a number and your number will choose your question? Hey. Number three. All right. Okay. Let's see. Number three is, would you rather be lost in a desert or lost in the ocean? I would rather be lost in the desert. Even okay, though it's kind of difficult for me. Bec um, I'm freaking out of ocean. I don't know how to swim. And <laughs> I cannot imagine myself in the middle of a sea and or, or ocean. And getting maybe I might die like there. So I won't survive at all. But in the desert, I might survive. But it's kind of difficult. But I would rather to be lost in the desert. Uh -huh. And I understand yeah. that both situations are horrible. <laughs> La, yeah, you like, you are putting me between a rock and a harder place, you know? Yes, exactly. Good idiom. Wonderful, yes. So, it's a difficult choice, but based on your, I don't know, background and experience, you would pick one, right? And you said you would pick the desert. Yeah. Uh -huh. so I would rather you... be lost in the desert. <laughs> And can you ask me the same question? Yeah, would you rather like be lost in a desert or an ocean? Uh huh. For me, I would pick the ocean. <laughs> and, and why? And the reason, I suppose, one reason is that I grew up around lots of water, right? So another reason is that I think in the ocean, well, depending on what location, I should have a good chance to catch fish. Or maybe birds mm. or something like birds. I don't know. But do you know how ahead. to swim? Do oh, you know how to course. swim? Of course. I've been swimming since mm. I was probably two years old. <laughs> oh, wow, that's perfect. Uh huh. Maybe this is yeah. maybe this is one skill I need to learn, so I can survive if I lost. Maybe one day <laughs> I was in a ship and lost in the ocean. Sure. So I think I like to swim. I find it very enjoyable, and it's also a good skill if you're lost on on a, in the ocean. <laughs> wow, perfect. Perfect. We are not on the same page. <laughs> ah, another idiom. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but we are in the same boat, like speaking English. Yes, we are. Okay, so one of yeah. us will be lost Thank in the desert, the other one will be lost in the ocean. Either way, we're both lost. <laughs> yeah, one, one of them is, uh, is onshore and the other one is offshore. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, I need to move forward. Thank you for coming live. Thank you so much, Wadi. Nice to meet All you. All right. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. What about you? I'm fabulous. Thank you. Uh, what is your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Susne. I'm from Turkey. Ah, so many Turkish people today. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. So my name is Michael. I'm from America. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Nice to meet you. Are you ready to choose a number? Um, yes. Okay. Um, number four. Number four. All right. We'll cover number four. And because you chose number four, your question is? 
Would you rather be super wealthy and very sick or super poor and very healthy? Hmm. Uh, I can't understand. Please, uh, I mean, again. Okay, I can repeat. All right, so we have two options. Would you rather yes. would you rather be super wealthy, super rich but very sick or super poor and very healthy? Please uh, again. <laughs> like. Okay. So I'll I'll try to explain it a different way. So we have option A and we have option B, right? Two options. Option 1 is to be rich but you're sick you're very sick right mm -hmm. that's option 1 option 2 is you're very poor but you're very healthy um uh, option 2 so you want to be very you would choose to be poor but very healthy is that right yeah okay option and two. and why do you choose option 2 uh, for healthier. Uh, I want to be healthier uh, because this is nice. Be because it's horrible to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Can you ask me the same question? Um, no. Oh, no, I mean, can you repeat the question that I asked you? So you ask me now. Um, I can't understand, please. Again. Okay. Sure. So I asked you a question. Can you ask mm -hmm. me the same question? Um, uh, you have uh, two options. Um, uh, I think uh, one minute. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't find, I don't find, uh, one minute. <laughs> um, yeah. Can, yeah. Can I, can I help I you? I don't know. I, I'll help you. So op sure. option one is rich but sick, right? Option two is poor but healthy. Option two is... What about you? <laughs> right. Right. What about me? I think I would also choose poor and healthy, option number two. Because uh, same thing I said before, being sick is terrible, right? It's horrible. And it's very difficult. Yeah. It's hard to enjoy life if you're sick. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you for coming live. You're welcome to come back in the future. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Welcome. Hello. What's up? Good morning. Good. Uh, good night for me, but good day. <laughs> Can I get? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Can I get your name and where you're from? Oh, my name is um, Abdulaziz. Originally, I'm from uh, Somalia, but it's still right now. I'm living in Ankara, Turkey. Ah, everyone's from Turkey today, or in Turkey today. <laughs> yeah, that is okay. amazing. So, my name is Michael. Really, I'm from the United I States. Really nice to meet there. you. All right, nice to meet can, you, you too. can you choose a number? And I will ask you a question. Okay. Okay, let me answer the number four. Number? But someone... Oh, cool. uh, oh, okay, number one. Number one. Okay. All right. So let's see. Hmm. You chose number one. Okay, here it is. Would you rather have nice friends or honest friends? Oh, in my uh, answer is honest friends. Okay. And why? Because, you know, for example, if you have an honest friend, it's sometimes when something happens to you, it will be healthy, like open hand. But nice friend is never healthy like this because he's not like honesty. Uh-huh. 
And what if what if your friends tell you things that you don't want to hear, but they're true? Like uh, you need you, your your breath smells bad, or <laughs> you need to take a shower, or you need to work harder. What do you think about that? Oh, in my in mind, I think about that. Um, in this world, there are few things like this. But in me, um, if I am a honest friend, this um, I'm never seen or maybe I'm never in helping like negative things. I will be you judge positive things. Uh huh. You got it what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. So you you take the information, but you use it in a positive way, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. No, I'm creating all Turkey people. Hey, nice to see. They write me something. <laughs> Okay, so can you ask me the same question that I asked you? Okay, let me wait for you a minute. I will be, you know, my mom. Okay, my mom. Uh, my question is: If you are like poor person, and you are, can you, can you ask <laughs> ask me the same question that I asked you? Okay. For example, when you have like uh, a lot of money, like you know, you are rich. <laughs> no, okay. So I asked you, would you rather have nice friends or honest friends? I need oh, okay, you. Okay. Okay. You wanna? Okay. In okay. <laughs> what about you? Tell me. What about you? Tell me. And tell. What is the question? Do you, how do you say uh, it? Ah. Uh, for example. If you have a, like an honest friend is or nice friend is, which one is your mind or which which one you like? Yes. Uh huh. I agree with you. I would rather have honest friends because if you have nice if you have nice friends, it feels good, but it doesn't help you to improve, right? The honest friends yeah, right. can can give you good information that you can use to improve your life and. Make better decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. I know very well. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for coming live. You're welcome to come back in the future. Okay. You also welcome, brother. Welcome, Koshka Denis. Okay. Have a great day. Uh, ah, hello. hello. <laughs> How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm great. good. All right. Are you ready to choose a question? Yep. Uh, two left. I think uh, number six. Number six. All right. Yeah. There we are. Okay. So your question is. All right. So first of all, are you familiar with the idiom between a rock and a hard place? No. It just means that you have you know you have option A and you have option B and they're both horrible. <laughs> <laughs> There, there's another kind of saying or idiom which is to choose the lesser of two evils, kind of like that. So, here yeah. is your question. Are you ready? Yes. Would you rather be unable to read or unable to hear music? <clears throat> I think I would rather choose unable to hear music because I don't have any interest in music. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and second of all, uh, and and second thing that uh, uh, music is not something which is going to benefit me. It cannot uh, improve me as far as uh, my knowledge is concerned. But uh, 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 I would pick uh, uh, not to uh, not to uh, not to listen music. Uh -huh. I, and second option is not to read. Yes, option one is unable to read. Option two is unable to hear music. So I would rather choose unable to hear music. Uh huh, uh huh. And you sound to me like because a, I wanted to, but 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 I wanted to read. That's uh -huh. my choice. <laughs> yes, yes, I understand. I don't. I, I don't. I, 
I don't want to listen music because I wanted first of all uh, I wanted to uh, I wanted to read so that it can it can improve myself. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure. So that uh, so that I can uh, yes so that I can uh, got more grip uh, because reading is something which builds your perception, your knowledge, uh, and you can improve from reading. Sure. Can can you think of any situation where someone might choose to lose the ability to read and keep the ability to listen to music? Um, yes, it depends on the individual that uh, how he um, choose different things. But it is not uh, my point of view. Uh, I would rather choose uh, uh, reading. Uh -huh. uh, but there are some people who actually uh, got really emotional or uh, they love music different kind of music because they're triggered uh, from listening music and uh, that's why they love to have music in their life but if they uh, hate reading um, then they would uh, probably choose to listen music <laughs> okay can you ask me the same question Okay. Uh, what do you choose? Unable to read or unable to listen music? I have to say this is an easy... <laughs> Lose the ability to listen to music. I agree with you. <laughs> so okay. I want to be able to read because... Oh, one second. I had to turn off my timer. There we go. Uh, I agree. Uh, I think so much of my life and my goals are involved with reading and taking in taking information being able to process information from in using my eyes however i could think yeah. of someone like uh beethoven or bach who uh their whole life they you know they created music they created symphonies music was such a huge part of their life that maybe they would choose that one i don't know but yeah yes it's depend upon individual as i said sure uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So maybe this wasn't a good example of between a rock and a hard place for you because it was an easy choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. But I think for most of them, both of them are uh, uh, necessary. They need both of them. Sometimes if they got stuck uh, in their life or they, they may be depressed, so it's uh, better uh, to, if they listen some music, so it will help them in coming back to their normal life. So sure. if they got depressed and they listen to music, they have some kind of uh, good music, then it will really help them uh, to get into their life. Uh -huh. so sure, we could, say that both, we could say that music can be yes. therapeutic, right? Yes, it can be. Yes. Okay, all right. Thank you for coming live. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank All you right, so see you in the future. Thank you. Uh, hi, <laughs> welcome back. Long well, time no see. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm still here. How about you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm great. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to give you a choice. Number eight yeah. or number eight? <laughs> number eight or number eight? Wow, the final one. Okay, yes. uh, let me think about it. This is a hard decision to make, actually. Okay, eight. Uh -huh. I will go. Eight. Yeah, All right. eight. yeah. After a, a second of... thoughts, eight. <laughs> so, so a lot of people in, uh, in the East think that eight is a very lucky number. So maybe it will be good eight. for you. Yeah, uh -huh. we, we think seven, you know, seven. Ah, so seven sure. days, seven, you know, seven days, seven heavens. Something uh -huh. like this. But eight, I'm not sure about eight. Well, depends on the person and their culture, I guess. Y yeah, okay. yeah. He here in the Middle East, I think seven because, you know, uh, seven heaven, seven days, and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you, are you ready for your question? Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Would you rather be single for the rest of your life or give up social media completely. <laughs> wow. So um, between being single and giving up 
Uh, actually, I'm married. So what are my choices? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the, all of these questions are, are hypothetical, right? Theoretical? Yeah, yeah I, I know. So. Imagination, yes. <laughs> yes. So I think, so have... I think yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I, I see what you are getting into, yeah. Uh, but I'm just joking with you. <laughs> okay. Right. So uh, I am a book lover. I'm a book lover. And I, and I like also social media, but I think I can manage. I can manage because in the past, uh, reading was my passion, and it is my passion. Now, uh, you know, I got distracted because of social media, but maybe I, I uh, get back to my roots, you know, by going to a good habit, which is reading. So, of course, uh, I would give up social media for reading. But I'm uh -huh. not. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, reading is good. Reading is good. And, you, you know, reading, uh, uh, you know, when you read, you focus more. So, you have a book you can read for 20 or 30 pages for maybe an hour or more than an hour. So, it's very good for your brain, you know. Uh, when you are, uh, you know, social media sometimes it's beneficial and it's good and you're connecting, you are connecting with people, but reading is far more better. That's mm -hmm. my, uh, uh, this is from my personal experience. So what do you think about it? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, well, how about this? Why don't you ask me the same question? So would you rather be single for your whole life or give up social media for good? I would give up social media. <laughs> <laughs> and for what? Yes. For just being single, well, you have to, you know, you have to fill up your time. So now yes. maybe it consumes a lot of time. Now you have this gap. So how can you fill it? So for me, I'm going to fill it, you know, with reading. What about you? Uh -huh. Well, wow. There are other options, right? Uh, because yes, you can, you can still. Well, first you can connect with real people, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can read, sure. read books. Uh, you could maybe travel. You could do other things. But if you can't use social media, you can probably still use the internet, right? You could do research. You can learn. You can talk with, you know. But, yeah. I yeah well, I would choose. I would give. Sorry. Up. Yes, uh -huh. yeah, yes, sir. Uh, is the question about just giving up social media or the whole uh, net? So can I go online, for example? Can I Google? Can I use the internet for research or just social media? Well, I didn't think about it that much. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a tricky one, sir. <laughs> yes. Because it, if we only say social media, I would usually think like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Stuff yeah. like that, right? Yeah. 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 So I, 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 that's great. So I can still use, you know, Google. I can still use for maybe news, for learning English. So, yeah, it's good. Uh-huh. Because back in, yeah. like, back in, like, what, 19, the, in the 90s, before social media, yeah. the, the Internet was still very useful, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, for sure, yeah. And, mm -hmm. it is still, and it is still useful, but sometimes it distracts you. Sometimes, you know, it takes from your time, uh, from your sleep hours. So we have to be careful about it. And, uh, you know, sure. I am an adult. I am a teacher. I am uh, well aware of this. But sometimes, you know, it, it gets me. I'm hooked into it. So what about, you know, uh, the young people, you know, the teenagers? So maybe they have to be very careful or to be aware of the time they are spending uh, on social media. Well, I'll be honest. I don't have time for this deep conversation. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm no, sorry. No, I, no. I, I really, yeah, I really enjoy your. There's, your, your, your yeah. <laughs> There's no need to apologize because the social media and whether it's good or bad, I like to debate it because it's a very interesting subject that really affects our lives. But literally right now, my schedule is short. <laughs> yes, sir. So, okay. All yeah. the best for you and for your life. Uh, it's always interesting. And we learn a lot from you. Your accent is very nice and clear. 
thank you very much for adding me all uh, in your life thank you i really appreciate it and i owe you a lot all the best for all you right. and for your family thank you all right thank thank you okay so let's see what's happening uh -huh. so we made it all the way through eight questions eight people and people in the comments i think there was maybe a question let me see let me take a look da, 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 da. let's see z amazing 0094 says i don't understand the option well it's to choose to be single as in you don't get married or give up social media only choose one right. okay so the questions today were just about choosing difficult options and they're probably not real, but it's good for conversation and it's good for vocabulary. Okay. Well, my schedule is up right now, so I need to go. I want to say thank you to everyone who came live and everybody in the comments. So until next time, see you soon. And I will share this live. It will be up for at least 24 hours on Instagram. And then eventually, I will put it on YouTube. All right. Have a wonderful day, evening, night, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. All right, take care. See you soon. Mm -hmm.